Growing up in the 60s, watching Best, Lauren Charlton from the Stratford End, I'm what the American owners who led the ill-conceived Super League breakaway would call a legacy fan. I care about the legacy and history of my football club, just like many millions do who've grown up supporting their football club too. Well, today, Manchester United fans who know their history will be celebrating the news that Jimmy Murphy is going to be honoured with a fitting tribute at Old Trafford. In response to lobbying by the Group of Six, a powerful consortium representing fans and former players, Ed Woodward has today announced Jimmy will be honoured at the Theatre of Dreams. The club have agreed to what I'm told will be a visible and enduring tribute at Old Trafford in recognition of Jimmy Murphy's contribution to Manchester United. It's long overdue, but it's very welcome indeed. It's something I've long campaigned for on this channel, passionately supported by the likes of Alan Wardle of the former Players Association, Patrick Burns, chairman of the Manchester Munich Memorial Foundation, Brian Mulholland, one of the early supporters of the Jimmy Murphy campaign, Rose Cook Monk, founder of the Duncan Edwards Foundation, and most notably, my dear friend Paul Murphy, grandson of our beloved Jimmy. The fine details of this Old Trafford tribute will be agreed in discussions with the Murphy family and representatives of the group of six who brought this campaign to its positive conclusion. I'm told the club will accommodate the wishes of the Murphy family, who know what they want the tribute to look like. The most likely outcome will be a statue, either at the Stretford end or the mouth of the Munich Tunnel. Woodward's announcement that green lights this long-awaited tribute was made just 24 hours after Joel Glazer yesterday promised fans the club will respect our values and traditions in a new era of consultation. It's a remarkable turnaround after years of campaigning for a Jimmy Murphy tribute at the stadium. Less than three weeks ago, the Glazers were ready to abandon what they've called legacy fans in search of future supporters and new revenue they believed would fuel a Super League promising billions to the chosen few. But that already seems like distant history, as we now talk about honouring the man who saved Manchester United when he kept the red flag flying high after the devastation of the 1958 Munich air disaster. When we lost eight Busby babes in the crash and our manager Matt Busby lay in a Munich hospital fighting for his life, Murphy made sure United carried on. The owners of the time feared the club would not recover from the crash and talked of closing down. But Murphy would not hear of it and the proud Welshman fought heroically and stoically to keep United going as the club rose from the ashes. It's an amazing story that all United fans should be familiar with. Keeping these memories alive is a key part of our heritage. That's why I'm making a film about Jimmy and the legacy of our club. But tonight, let's rejoice that the man who saved Manchester United will at last be given the eternal memorial his loyal service so richly deserves. A tribute long overdue, but that only makes this news all the more special. God bless the babes. God bless Jimmy Murphy.